Hey everybody, Grim here. Today we're going to do a video about two different topics. Radars and radar guided anti-air missile, the AIM-120. We're going to go through this kind of quick because when I started this series there really wasn't all that many videos around for this game, but there's going to be quite a few of them now and some of them are pretty good. Honestly, they're probably better than mine. So. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this subject. What you need to understand is that this F-A-26B has a radar on board, whereas the AV-42C didn't. What the RWR does is tells me when enemy radar systems are hitting me. Right now, my radar is off, so on my enemy's RWR, he doesn't see me. I'm invisible. So when I'm trying to be sneaky, this is what I'm trying to do. I'm keeping my RW, my sorry, my radar off, so that he has no idea that I'm here. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do, if I turn on my navigation map here, you can see there's a couple of enemy formations. All right, enemy aircraft formations. So. They're out there somewhere in the horizon, I don't know where. But if I want to fire at them, I'm going to turn on my radar, which is going to give my position away to them. But it's okay, because I'm going to be firing on them. They're going to have other things to worry about. So I'm going to turn on my radar right here. I'm going to go into radar mode. I can increase or decrease the range. I can also change the scan angle. Uh, basically, the tighter the scan scan angle the shorter the range the more precise you're gonna be and the what the longer the uh, the longer the range the wider the angle the less precise the radar is gonna be what it what it means is how often does it update if somebody's moving fast and you're trying to track them you uh, yeah, you see how they're disappearing on me and reappearing. I gotta pick them up as often as possible, so I really don't want to use more radar than I really need. So as you can see, this one enemy here is roughly about eight nautical miles from me. I'm gonna turn on my sensor of interest. I'm gonna come over here until it sort of... Uh, locks on it, it's not a lock on but it, it just kind of snaps to him right and now I'm gonna click my thumbstick over here on my right controller and what that does is that designates that one airplane is number one but I'm not locking on to him with my fire control radar yet but you can see him over here you can see him in my HUD now you know, even though even though I really can't see him visually, I know that he's there because the circle and the number one. So, I've lost him now. He probably went behind the terrain. Let's come over here and select this other one. Okay, yeah, it's, he's right behind the terrain here now. If I lock on him... I can double click again, which honestly, it, it doesn't work that well for me most of the time, but it worked this time. I could have also hit number one here to lock, uh, to lock on or not lock on. Once I'm locked on, I'm going to get a box around him instead of the circle, and it's going to tell me information. It says this aircraft is ASF-30, I'm locked on to it. It tells me he's at 261 bearing. He's at range of nine nautical miles. He's at the altitude 5384. You know what, I really don't care. <laughs> That's not the point. The point is now, whoops, wrong switch. I've been flying AV-42C that too much. Shoot. What I wanna do is I'm gonna shoot one of these AIM-120s. Autopilot disengaged. Now, Autopilot disengaged. In order to do that, I have to have him locked on with the beam. If I turn that off, 
I lost my shoot cue. Shoot. I have to turn that on to have a shoot cue. So, I can go ahead and fire now. And my missile is on semi-active mode right now. I need to stay where my beam is locked onto the sky until it goes pitbull. Once it goes pitbull, then I can I can take my lock off. So it looks like I might have uh, I might have destroyed him. Let me go ahead and here. I'm going to shoot a different one. Now I can choose which one I want to lock on to. I'm going to go shoot. choose the lock on number two, Over which is way up Over here. Key. So I fired it and Pitbull. there it goes, Pitbull. So now I could, I could lock on to something else if I wanted to. I can also clear these guys out. So, it Over looks like I hit him. He's going down pretty quick. Let's see what kind of equipment modes I have in here for this guy. Nothing, basically. So, it pretty much works the same way that it always works. Some of the missiles can do things with their bore sight. This one... Apparently it doesn't. Sometimes this FA-26 B can just loves to stall, man. It just loves to stall. Now there's one other... There's one other thing I want to mention about this is that if you're... Oh my goodness. If you're fighting somebody who's over the horizon and you can't see them, something you can do to make your missiles go a little bit farther is to speed up really quickly. And that, that's a good thing to do if you're far away. Over key. So I'm actually over looking key. around. Over key. this enemy target. I'm gonna go for the closer one on my mail Over map key. here. Over key. Over he should key. be right out in front of me, but I don't see him. I'm gonna give myself a narrower scan angle. Okay. And we're gonna go with a little bit longer range. There he is. I'm going to select Shoot. one of them, Over key. and I'm going to fire, Pitbull. and, oh, by the way, there's a little dot. What you're supposed to do with that little dot is aim your missile at that little dot, and that's supposed to let the missile take the path of the shortest distance in order to intercept the enemy aircraft when it gets to you. Um, when it gets to the aircraft is what I meant to say. It's a way to shoot your missile more efficiently. So uh, that is, I don't always do it, but that's what it's uh, supposed to be for. So there's one, he's right on top of us. Normally I'd be using, uh, see and I had Pitbull right away cause I'm so close. Normally I'd be using something like a AIM 9X at this range, but, meh. Okay, so I hit him. I'm gonna fire another one just cause I can. I don't need to, he's already dead, but. I just, uh, I'm just having fun. I got a lot of these on board. He's going down so fast, the missile actually missed him. That's kind of funny. All right, so let's see, who else do we have? Let's 
see, there's another one. Over D. Shoot. Let's see. This time I'm gonna go for the uh for the dot. Pitbull. And I got Pitbull right away because I'm so close. I may reset the game here in a minute and uh, show you an over the horizon attack. Uh, not over the horizon, out of visual range is what I meant to say, but uh, I'm an old Navy guy, so out of visual range for the Navy means outside of the horizon. But in this game, not necessarily. So, let's do that. I'm going to reset we're going to show you what it's what it's like when you're outside of visual range okay here we go Did you see me? I opened the jettison by accident. AB-42C has weapons. I'm right there. I'm so used to it. Okay, so... What I am going to do is fly at that little dot. And when I get the shoot cue, I am going to let it rip. Still. He's about 15 nautical miles out. It's a good little ways. But I'm going to go as fast as I can. Shoot. Okay. Little dot. I wasn't quite inside it, but that's okay. Now, sometimes you might want to fire more than one of these. You'll also notice on the right side of my HUD, right below where it says ASL, there's a, a little bit of a, an arrow going down a line. And on the top, it's kind of hollow. And then on the bottom, it has a little, like a bar. That's supposed to have to do with whether you could actually... I don't know. I mean... The way that I remember the tutorial said that you have to be right about this section here where it becomes a bar in order to really hit well. But I feel like it wouldn't give me the shoot cue if I was out of range. So I really don't know what's up with that. But he's already going down. He already died. I fired a, another one unnecessarily. I don't. My brain didn't quite register that he was going straight down with smoke coming out of him uh, before I fired. It's important not to waste your missiles, I suppose. So here comes okay. another one. He's out of my visual, my visual range. I, I really can't see him. But I can see the, brat, the, the square that the hut makes, but I, I can't actually see him with my eyes. Pitbull. Okay, so now he's Pitbull. I don't need that anymore. And actually, right here on the radar, you can see my missile. Um, you can see my little red missile going right to him. And I can only lock on to one at a time. But I can have multiple targets selected. I'm on number two right now. And I'm going to fire two just because. I don't really need to, probably, but, uh... Pitbull. When it says Pitbull, pit that means uh, I don't have to have them locked up anymore. So number one looks like he's still flying. Even if he was dying, he would still be on my radar for a little bit until he hit the ground. So... I have to say, these guys are flying straight up. So, Shoot. probably... 
They're still alive. And it, it can take these missiles a while to get there too, but they're only six nautical miles away right now. This one is, according Pickle. to the radar. Okay, so I bet you that one's dead. Number two here. Number two still flying. Shoot. This little dot is based on where the aircraft that you're fighting's current trajectory is. Doesn't mean that he's actually not gonna change his direct trajectory. After you fire, he uh, he probably would. That would be a good thing for him to do. But uh, that's the idea. So as you can see, using the radar is not that hard. And using uh, using the M120, not that hard. This guy sure does not want to die. So, I can actually see them visually now. They're just little black flecks. But, um... Shoot. trying to take him out. It's not as easy as all that. Got him. I'm pretty sure he's done. Yep. He's done. Uh, let's see. There's another one. Over T. Shoot. Pitbull. I'm gonna fire two because it's been my observation that dodging one is one thing, but dodging two, that's even harder. I got him. First one missed, the second one hit. He's toast. Over D. So, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for coming by. Grim.